Hi everybody, this is Asher Barber 9 and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Guope Barbie doll wearing golden yellow gown. And yes, that is her actual official name by the way. It's kind of a long-winded title but eh, whatever. <laughs> yes, the golden yellow gown Barbie by Guope is inside this box. And I have to say, like, oh my gosh, like, this box is probably one of the bougiest things I have ever seen Barbie done in a while. Like, oh my gosh, like, look at this. Like, look at this. Gosh, it's even embossed. And mind you, it's also, like, really, really heavy. Oh my gosh, oh, oh gosh. It's super heavy, you guys. Like, oh my gosh, like, what's the cardboard made out of? Cement? Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, it's really, really nice. And I really, really love this packaging. I actually already opened it, and uh, yeah, there was a ribbon here. It was really, like, neat looking. I tried my best to um, just make a uh, random ribbon here. But uh, yeah. Super, super nice. Like, it reminds me of, like, a bougie uh, hat box or something. So, yeah. But inside is uh, the Guope Barbie doll, uh, just so you know. But, yeah, like, I love this packaging, like, so much. <laughs> now, I pre-ordered this doll back in October of last year. And I got her, like, um, January, February, I think. So yeah, she's technically uh, the first doll that I bought this year. But um, I hesitated to open her because I just love this box. And she actually looks really good in the box as well. But um, I think it's about time now. So we will be opening her up. But first, uh, let me just show you what the doll looks like inside the box. So just untie this real quick. And here she is, like, oh my gosh, wow, and look how this box folds up, oh gosh, like this is one of my favorite like Barbie uh, boxes like ever made, <laughs> like wow. Like, they really spared no expense for this. <laughs> now, the doll was worth $200. And I also had to pay for shipping, as well as import fees. And, uh, <laughs> not gonna lie, everything all in all was a lot. <laughs> and this is probably the most that I've spent for one Barbie. And I don't know if I'm happy with that or whatever, but whatever, I paid for everything and I have her now, so I can't really complain too much about that because I do love this doll, like, oh gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> and here is a close-up of the doll inside the box. Huh, stunning, just stunning. I love so much and this garment like ah oh, so luscious so good honestly <laughs> um if you don't know who Guo Pei is um Guo Pei is a Chinese fashion designer and haute couturier uh, she debuted um I think in the 90s or the 2000s I kind of forgot but she pretty much like rose to fame overnight because uh, Rihanna wore one of her dresses, which was basically this one, to the 2015 Met Gala. And my gosh, that was such a pop culture moment. Like not only was the dress like really, really fashionable, like really, really like striking, but it also birthed like a lot of memes. Because <laughs> it kind of looked like an omelet or like a pizza. And I don't know, I just really, really love that. And I'm, I'm really glad that uh, Barbie gets to wear the uh, get outfit now. 
like I really really love it on her like I'm so glad that I have uh, something that uh, references that like really really important pop culture moment I think so uh, yeah <laughs> and here is a close-up of the description on the lid uh, you can go ahead and pause that if you'd like ah, this packaging really really is like, stunning like, I almost feel guilty that I'm about to, um, I'll probably, like, destroy this box, but I'll try my best to, like, restrain myself so that I don't ruin it too much. Like, I do, like, really, really love this. And, oh my gosh, like, I hope I don't destroy it too much. But, yeah, I'll, I'll try my best. I'll try my best to, like, keep it in, like, pristine and, um, presentable condition, like, afterwards. Now, I do have another Guofei Barbie doll, and it's uh, this one, the 2023 Lunar New Year Barbie doll by Guofei. And uh, I'm not opening this one yet. Uh, I'll probably open this uh, when I'm ready. Uh, however, um, I have a lot, and I do mean a lot, of other dolls to open after this doll. So, uh, do please check out my future videos uh, for those. Like, I have a lot, and I do mean a lot, of dolls to show you. <laughs> anyway, that's enough chit-chat for now. Um, I will be opening this girl up, and I'm gonna try and not destroy the packaging too much. Because uh, I really, really do love the uh, packaging. Like, I really, really love this box, and I want to keep it for as long as I can. And uh, just like every other doll in my collection, I will be moving her into a made-to-move body. And the made-to-move body that I've chosen for her is this one. Uh, this was a uh, Barbie Looks Lena body. I, I originally wanted to use this for my quinceanera Barbie doll, but uh, it just wasn't a perfect match. However, this is a good enough match for this doll. Like, I feel like it's the exact same skin tone, so yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> uh, hopefully it is a uh, good enough match for her. And I'll also try to uh, make some customizations here. As you can see, uh, this doll has an open mouth face sculpt, but for some reason, like, Mattel didn't uh, put any uh, teeth on her lips, probably because that they think that she could um, pull off, like, a... Uh, closed mouth kind of smiling look but it really doesn't uh, look good on her so yeah I'll be painting some teeth on her so yeah wish me luck on that well anyway yeah I have a lot of tasks before me I have to uh, heat up some hot water and cut off some packaging so yeah this could take a while so I will be right back and so here she is out of the box the Guopei Barbie doll wearing golden yellow gown. Oh my gosh, you guys. This girl is stunning. Oh gosh, I love her so much. Uh, where do I even begin to review her? Uh, well, first and foremost, uh, I did some uh, customizations here and there. Uh, as you can see here, uh, she now has teeth. Uh, I basically uh, just uh, drew it on with some um, watercolor pencils. Uh, the original plan, by the way, was to use acrylic paints. Uh, however, um, I'm not really very um, confident with my uh, painting skills just yet, and I don't want to do something that I might regret. So I'm using uh, watercolor pencils for now, because at least it's washable. <laughs> but once I'm um, confident enough, I will definitely um, just um, paint it over with some white acrylic paints. I think. But yeah, I think it'll happen someday soon. <laughs> and I also gave her some extra accessories, such as this nice little necklace. This was uh, originally a Barbie Playline necklace. Uh, I forgot where it was from, and I basically spray painted it gold so that it matches uh, the rest of the uh, outfit. <laughs> and as you can see here, she is now on the uh, Barbie looks Lena body and it's a made to move and I also painted her manicure here uh, with gold uh, nail polish to uh, match her original 
uh, manicure from her uh, original body. And as you can see here, I also um, changed her shoes uh, to this um, strappy uh, stiletto number here. I didn't really like the shoes, to be honest. Uh, I felt like it was a bit much. So uh, yeah, I uh, switched it up, out for uh, these uh, Barbie shoes. And I also spray painted it gold, by the way, so that uh, it matches uh, the rest of the ensemble. And I also am giving her uh, this light, nice little uh, clutch purse because I think it'll go well with the rest of the outfit. <laughs> okay, so let's cut to the chase. I really, really love this gown. Uh, technically, it's a coat though. However, um, Guo Pei calls it a gown. Mattel calls it a gown. So... Uh, who am I to uh, argue with the experts here? <laughs> I really, really love everything about it, though. Like, oh my gosh. Like, wow, like the detailing here. Like, it's stunning. It's stunning. The dress is a replica of the, of course, the yellow queen gown that Rihanna wore to the 2015 Met Yala. It was actually already an archival piece. Uh, Guo Pei made this for um, her 1002 Nights collection back in 2010. And uh, basically, uh, Rihanna asked to wear this. And so, uh, yeah, a meme was born afterwards. <laughs> now, even though the original garment was designed by Guo Pei, uh, this doll is actually co-designed by Mattel designer uh, Joyce Chen. Uh, they usually still use uh, Mattel designers uh, even when they're uh, trying to uh, replicate a real-life garment. It's usually so that uh, the uh, clothes will uh, translate well onto the actual toy. And uh, Joyce Chen was also like uh, responsible for uh, the other uh, design elements such as the face, the skin tone, the accessories, and all stuff like that. So yeah. Guo Pei's original vision for the gown was that she wanted to create something uh, that was uh, very very evocative of like uh, classic royalty but with a fantastical and high fashion twist. Uh, as you can see here, the gown is yellow which was a very, very popular color amongst the uh, Chinese royalty and nobility uh, back in the day, back when um, China had a monarchy. And it also has like a lot of embroidery, which was also featured in like a lot of um, Chinese uh, royal garments and stuff. But it also has like a twist. Uh, it does have Western influences. As you can see, there's a lot of fur trim which is very, very evocative of uh, English and uh, European uh, medieval coronation robes, you know? The ones with the, like, the fur trim and stuff. So yeah, it's sort of like a blend of East meets West. And it's very, like, fantastical and I really, really love it. It's not a perfect 1-6 scale um, interpretation of the gown because if it was, it'll definitely, definitely, definitely should be longer. Uh, however, I don't really think uh, they could make this like any longer than it already is. Uh, if it were like a perfect uh, scale replica of the original Yellow Queen gown, uh, the train would probably be like 3 to 5 feet. And uh, I don't think you can fit in a gown, a Barbie gown inside packaging that much. I don't think so. Like this gown was already like, like really, really uh, tightly fitted in her original box. So I, I don't think uh, they can make it a lot longer than it already is now. <laughs> it really, really is a stunning piece though. Uh, here is the uh, back portion as you can see oh gosh look at all the embroidery the brocade all the bows like gosh i love everything here 
so nice. The gold fabric is like really, really thick and I love it. It's not like too smooth as you can tell, like it's a very, very textured piece and I really, really love it. And as for the uh, faux fur trim, like I really, really love it as well. Like it looks like real almost, but yeah, it's definitely faux fur. It's not the nicest faux fur I've ever had on a Barbie, but I do love like how um, realistic it looks and also feels realistic as well. And here is a better look of the back of the gown here. As you can see. Like I'm really really speechless. Like what else can I say aside from <gasps> I love this. Like I love this. I love this so much. Honestly. Who knew Mattel could still like do like really really great embroidery. Like this is stunning. Stunning. The gown is held on by a uh, pair of snap enclosures. You can um, take a look at that. It's here. Yeah. The other end is um, here. It's kind of... Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah. And uh, it was stitched uh, when I um, opened her in the packaging, but you can just cut it off. I basically cut it off. So yeah, I can um, open the coat as much as I want now. The doll didn't really come with a lot of accessories here. Uh, most of the accessories that she has are here on her head, uh, which is basically uh, this headpiece and uh, these earrings. Uh, again, the necklace is uh, not part of the original doll. Uh, I put that there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I really, really love this headpiece. It's kind of cute. Uh, I don't think this was part of the uh, original outfit that Guo Pei designed. Uh, I believe this is um, inspired by what Rihanna wore for the uh, 2015 Met Gala. But it's nice, it's nice. And though I really, really love these earrings, I wish they uh, used something like more elaborate, more showy, larger or something. Because it's, it's really too simple, I think. Like, I think a chunky earring would, like, make this outfit more over the top. Especially since uh, she didn't really come with a necklace here anyway. But still, it's a nice earring mold. Like, I haven't seen these uh, earring molds before. Uh, maybe I can use them for another doll, I think. But yeah, I really, really love it here. <laughs> and here is a close-up of the shoes. Uh, these shoes are actually, by the way, also made by Guopei. Uh, this is the pair of shoes that uh, are supposed to uh, go with the yellow empress gown. However, uh, of course, Rihanna did not wear this uh, to the Met Gala, uh, and for good reason, because one, it looks ridiculous, and two, it's probably like very, very hard to walk in. I mean, come on, like, those look scary. <laughs> And I do commend Mattel that uh, they included the shoes here. Uh, they're supposed to be evocative of like a very old um, Chinese theater shoes or something. But yeah, personally, like, I think it's too much. It's too much. Like, the dress is already too much, okay? So yeah, adding these shoes just distract from that, I think. So personally, after this uh, shoot, I will be removing these shoes and replacing them with some some nice stilettos instead so personally i picked these i really really love this shoe mold i think uh, it's just a, a typical playline shoe that i spray painted gold so yeah she'll be wearing this uh, from now on moving forward and here is a close-up of the dress that she wears underneath and i quite like it like, it's kind of cute, actually. I think if we uh, accessorize this, like, it can look, like, totally hot. But, yeah, I, I'm not mad at it. I mean, it's very simple. And I think it does its job, like, being the, uh, you know, the underdress. The camisole of sorts. 
and I do like the form like I like the sweetheart neckline and I also love the, like the construction and all the hems here and and it's also like slightly uh, asymmetrical as you can see like the front is a little bit higher than the uh, back portion of the skirt and I also like really really love the color like it really really pops amongst all the yellow and gold uh, the original Guope garment by the way did not have a pink underdress underneath like this was Rihanna's uh, contribution to this look I think and yeah overall it's kind of nice of course as you guys know this doll uses the June face sculpt which by the way is a face sculpt that I absolutely love like I really really love this face sculpt like it's so gorgeous and I know that it's a very uh, common playline face sculpt and quite frankly I don't really collect playline anymore but still I quite like this face like not only is it like very very beautiful but it's also like uh, very uh, flexible as well like I've seen this uh, face on basically any uh, race. Uh, I first uh, seen this as an Asian character, then they uh, started using this uh, for uh, Latino dolls, and now they uh, use it in like every race, like every race. And quite frankly, she looks good in all of them. Like, I don't know what it is with her, but yeah, they really, really made uh, the features right on this doll to like go with any ethnicity and it's kind of rare in barbie heads because uh, really like most barbie heads tend to like only be used on like a couple of races otherwise um they just um don't look great but yeah this is one of the few that can be, be pretty much be used on any race so i really really love that this face sculpt also like tends to look like J-Lo, especially when she's on the right coloring <laughs> and skin tone and hair. And in this doll, like she definitely, definitely looks a lot like J-Lo. More so than the actual Mattel J-Lo dolls, which is kind of funny because those dolls, they did not look like J-Lo, honestly. <laughs> Unfortunately, a lot of the corny Barbie haters went after this doll uh, simply because of the face sculpt, which is something that I just do not agree with. Because I can actually critique this doll for like a lot of things, but the face sculpt isn't one of them, like at all. Like, not the face sculpt. And really, these uh, corny Barbie haters, like they tend to go after like uh, Barbie signature releases that use playline face sculpts or reused face sculpts like you know the Millie and they really don't have like the same energy on the dolls that they collect because mind you these are the same people that collect uh, Bratz and Rainbow High which all use the same faces and are basically essentially the same character but just in different races so yeah like come on like if you're gonna critique Barbie for this like maybe you should like take a look at your own dolls and maybe have the same energy for them as well you know it's kind of hypocritical <laughs> the doll's face up is designed by Mattel face designer uh, Min Tam Nguyen and I'm actually a big fan of her work however I really really just hate these um big blocky eyebrows like she does this a lot like it's kind of like her signature thing and while i do love her art like i wish that she just toned down on the uh, blocky eyebrows because i really really hate them most of the time on this doll it's not the worst that i've seen so far but uh yeah like her eyebrows tend to be like really really blocky on most of her dolls and I wish she'd just stop. Like, please stop, Mintam. <laughs> like, you're a great artist. Like, please, like, make uh, face-ups with, like, thinner or, like, regular uh, eyebrows. Because, uh, yeah, they were popular back in 2016, but it's 2023 now, and... 
you're still doing this so like you know stop <laughs> but yeah I mean it's not as bad on this doll but yeah, it can be quite uh, annoying especially since she does this a lot and I wish that she just you know stop the one thing I am disappointed about this doll though is that um, the hairstyle is really really poorly done I'm sorry like at first I thought it was like a really really nice bun like oh my gosh how did they do this and it turns out it's not a bun it's just a ponytail that they uh, super glued and made it look like a bun yeah. I'm really really disappointed in this like this is a $200 doll and you can't even like make a nice enough hairstyle for this like I'm appalled <laughs> uh, whatever it's Mattel so I already expected this I mean they could actually just um you know um, make it into a real bun so I just don't understand the reasoning behind this kind of pathetic actually disappointed but not surprised mm. overall I really really do love this doll like I really really do however I don't really like agree with the pricing here like I feel like $200 was a bit much like it's a bit much for this doll especially since there's a lot of things that are lacking here like she doesn't really have like a lot of accessories like I had to give her uh, this necklace and I also had to replace the shoes because I didn't really like those and the, the hair is really badly done I think and they didn't really even give her teeth even though this face sculpt like required teeth you know there's a lot of things lacking honestly but I really really love this dress like this I feel is like one of the best of Barbie garments ever created honestly and that is not a joke however like just for the dress like I'd probably pay like 80 to 100 dollars for this and I'd probably just get the dress without the doll you know so yeah I wish that they uh if they want to charge 200 dollars like I wish I also saw it on the doll and not just the garment you know but also the packaging was really really nice so I will commend them for that but still that was not um it did not dis uh justify the $200 price tag so yeah if you can get this for under $200 though like yeah maybe get it because this doll is I mean the outfit is stunning I feel so yeah and so that is it for my review of the Guope Barbie doll wearing golden yellow gown. And so uh, tell me what you guys think of her. Uh, do you love her? Do you hate her? Will you be avoiding her like the plague? Or is she on your wish lists? Uh, sound off in the comments down below. And as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching my videos. Um, you can also find me on my Instagram and TikTok at AsherBarbara9 where you can view my photography as well as watch my short videos. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, I'm off and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye!